Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this course on acoustics for architects or uh, architectural acoustics as they call it. Uh, this is going to be a very basic uh, course uh, in which I am going to emphasize concepts rather than the mathematics or the formulae. Uh, th this uh, course is intended for architects and architecture students because you, you know architects design some very great spaces but you know acoustics is often ignored. Um, you know, you, you can see this in uh, many classrooms, many lecture halls, uh, auditoria, etc. That you know, it, it, the the space might look really nice, but you know, the acoustics is completely off. Uh, you know, it, it's not a uh, pleasant place to listen to a, to someone speak or uh, to listen to some music. So that's why I'm uh, creating this video uh, to uh, uh, you know teach the basics of acoustics to architects and architecture students. Hi, uh, so let us begin. The topic of this uh, presentation is going to be architectural acoustics. Uh, my name is Arun Sulkunte Ayangar. I'm an acoustic consultant at my own firm, uh, DB Acoustic. And uh, this uh, lecture is being presented on 30th November 2021. Okay, so what is acoustics? Um, well, if, if you think of acoustics, you may think of sound. Uh, sound and acoustics go together. Well, acoustics is the science and art of sound. It is a branch of physics. And uh, acoustics also involves vibration to a, to a certain extent where you know vibration uh, causes noise or uh, sound i mean if you look at loudspeakers the vibrating membrane of the loudspeaker produces sound so that's how vibration and sound are involved acoustics has uh, many branches over uh, 400 known branches and uh, you know it's a very uh, acoustics itself is a niche uh, area of study and there are, there are even more rarer fields within acoustics now uh, here we are only going to focus on architectural acoustics where we focus on humans in the built environment uh, basically we are focusing on architectural acoustics industrial acoustics and to some extent environmental acoustics we are only going to deal with sound in air okay so uh, how do we define architectural acoustics uh, architectural acoustics is that branch of engineering and science that deals with achieving good sound in a building uh, mainly for its end users the end users could be humans uh, they're mostly humans it could also be you know some uh, pets and animals uh, the hearing range of humans is between 20 Hertz and 20 kilohertz I'm going to explain frequency in the next uh, few slides uh, but just keep a note that you know human hearing range is between 20, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz this is true for young uh, healthy human beings but uh, not for uh, people who have uh, aged and uh, people who have had uh, noise induced hearing loss the hearing range uh, uh, like I said varies with age and it may also be affected by uh, noise induced hearing loss or other forms of uh, hearing loss so uh, next I'm going to present to you uh, audio samples. The first uh, audio sample will be a speech recording in a room without any reflections. That is uh, an anechoic room or an anechoic chamber. Uh, these recordings are also called anechoic recordings. Then I will play the same uh, audio uh, you know, in a reverberant room. Uh, this has been obtained through simulations. Uh, you can listen to both uh, the types of uh, both audio files and decide you know which one sounds crisp and clear so here we go in 1895 harvard university had just completed the folk art museum in 1895 harvard university had just completed the folk art museum uh, so you guys heard uh, the speech recording in both the an anechoic room or a room with no reflections and in a reverberant room where uh, you know sound reflections persist for some period of time so um, which one did you think uh, sounded crisp and clear which one uh, did you think uh, you know in, in which scenario did you think the speech was a little bit off or you know it wasn't uh, clear enough or it was a little bit uh, annoying or disturbing so uh, after this I'm going to uh, play music recordings 
just like before uh, one in a room without any reflections or an anechoic chamber uh, and uh, i'm going to play a sound recording uh, uh, in a reverberant room uh, in the same uh, reverberant room as before uh, try try and see whether you know uh, reverberation makes much of a difference for speech or for music uh, usually uh, for music a little bit of reverberation uh, does help in the enjoyment of music uh, try and see if you can notice that in the upcoming uh, audio files Okay, so now you heard the music in a anechoic room and uh, music uh, in a reverberant room. Uh, which one? Uh, I mean, which one did you enjoy most? Did you enjoy the music in the anechoic chamber, or you, did you enjoy music in the reverberation room? It's it's a question that you know you, you should ask yourself, and uh, maybe you can write in the comments below what what you thought of uh, the speech recordings and also the. Uh, the music recordings you know which one sounded better to you uh, please write them in the comments below so sound is a matter wave in a medium such as a uh, fluid it could be air it could be water it could also be a wave in a solid elastic medium uh, uh, and uh, you know th this wave occurs because of disturbances in that medium it could be because of a vibrating object vibrating solid object might disturb the particles of the air and create sound uh, or you know sound can sound can also you know in in a in a way uh, 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 cause the vibration of uh, walls and uh, other structures uh, sound is a longitudinal wave uh, and uh, there's a difference between longitudinal and transverse waves i'm going to demonstrate that uh, now now let us try to understand what sound is and uh, let us try to understand what uh, what the uh, characteristic of sound are such as uh, the frequency the wavelength the sound pressure sound intensity sound power sound velocity etc uh, so i'm going to demonstrate to you now uh, that uh, sound is a longitudinal wave the, the particles of a sound wave move to and fro uh, in a line that is parallel to the direction of the uh, wave that is the direction in which the wave is traveling uh, so i'm going to demonstrate to you now what what is the transverse wave first and then I'm going to demonstrate to you what is a longitudinal wave. Sound is a longitudinal wave. Just keep that in mind and uh, we'll begin our demonstration now. Okay, so if I disturb the surface of this water here, you can see water waves uh, moving outwards. The surface of water, the waves on the surface of water are transverse waves because the particles are moving up and down uh, while the wave is traveling in the horizontal direction. Uh, the, the, when the, when the movement of the uh, particles is perpendicular to the direction of wave travel then it is called a uh, transverse wave now let me demonstrate to you what a uh, longitudinal wave is okay so here i have a slinky i'm going to demonstrate what a longitudinal wave is using a, a slinky so I, if you can see you know when, when i disturb the slinky there is a compression traveling uh, in the direction of the wave so you know the 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 to and fro motion of the spirals of the uh, slinky are uh, uh, moving to and fro in the direction of the wave so let me see if we can create multiple uh, compressions and rare fractions uh, 
i hope you you all could see that uh, and the other thing is uh, you know when when uh, sound interacts with the surface suppose say uh, one of my hands this hand is fixed uh, then uh, you know you, you can see the reflection of the wave you know the, the 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 fixed hand acts like a wall so you can see the reflection of the wave let's try this so you you could clearly see the reflection of the wave but the reflection was not as strong so you know when sound uh, uh, hits a surface uh, it reflects back but some of the sound get transferred to the other side or gets absorbed uh. so i'm going to repeat myself once again uh, i'm going to t tell you what sound is sound is a matter wave in a medium such as air or water or it could even be an elastic solid it is caused by disturbances in the medium uh, sound is uh, a longitudinal wave uh, as I demonstrated before and uh, the particles of the sound wave travel to and fro in a line that is parallel to the direction of wave travel uh, and uh, I want to ask you guys a simple question uh, there is no sound in the vacuum of outer space why, why is that uh, you can leave your answers in the comment comment section uh, now that we have uh, discussed a uh, few things about sound I think uh, we'll conclude this lecture for today and uh, tomorrow we'll uh, talk about sound transmission uh, and uh, the human perception of sound which we also call as psychoacoustics. So this is what is coming next. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and if you liked uh, this video please uh, comment, share, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. I hope you have a nice day.